Hey everybody, how are you doing? This is Lance Tomashiro and I am super glad that you were able to make it here today for this training because, you know, one of the things that really frustrated me when I got started online was I got my product up, I got all my stuff ready to sell, and then I found out about this thing called copywriting and setting up these things called sales pages and all of this stuff. And so I was like, well, great, I'm a smart person, probably just like a lot of you are. And you go out there and you're like, I'm going to learn how to do this thing called copywriting. And my experience was beyond frustrating because I heard two things. One I heard was, well, go read all of these books. And to be quite honest, I didn't have time to go read 10 books that were written 100 years ago that I couldn't understand and that didn't seem relevant to what I was doing anyway. And then I heard people telling me things like, well, go out and write yourself 100 headlines and the best one's just going to come out to you. And I'm thinking, I can't even write one headline, let alone 100 headlines. And then I heard, make this thing called a swipe file and store them on all these index cards. And you know what I really wanted at the end of the day? It was I wanted a sales page up that looked good that I could sell stuff from. And, you know, I met this guy who I think is probably the best copywriter on the internet today, has more copy than anybody else that I've ever seen, and is responsible for literally millions of dollars in sales. And he told me something totally different. He said, get something down on paper, have it look this certain way, and start editing and filling it in and then he taught me this really simple way to write copy the simple formula that we've now since refined and so I'm glad you're here because two things are gonna happen first of all you're gonna learn everything that you need to know about writing copy that actually sells online and you're gonna learn it in the next 60 minutes on top of that you're gonna learn exactly how you can get it set up get it online and get your entire sales funnel to a point where it will convert in the next 60 minutes. And I know that that's a big promise, but here's the thing is I know that this guy can deliver. I've been working with him for a couple of years. I've studied for him before, before I worked with him. And I can tell you that his copy works, his systems work, and the software that you're gonna see today is going to absolutely blow you away and overcome the read 100 books, keep all of these swipe files, do all of this stuff that really doesn't work. So close down all of your other windows, take this next 60 minutes just for you because what Robert's going to show you is literally going to change the way your online business operates and if you're just getting started it's going to change the speed at which you get to the point that you want. So before I introduce him and bring him fully out here, I want you guys to go into the into the box right now, first of all, so that we know where you're at. And I want you to type in how many websites do you have? And I just want to try to, we just kind of want to get a feel for whether you've got one website, whether you've got zero websites, whether you've got a hundred websites, whatever that number is, let us know because what we're going to show you is going to change the way that everything works for you. So again, close down everything, know where that question box is so that we can answer your questions throughout the call and give a big warm welcome and all of your attention for the next 60 minutes to Robert Plank. Cool. Thanks for that awesome introduction, Lance. I'm glad that you asked that question. I'm looking at the responses coming in and I mean, what are you saying? I mean, I, I want to say maybe the average is about 10 or 20. Are you seeing that about? Yeah, I mean, I see everywhere from like 50 plus to one or two to I'm still trying to get mine functioning to none of my own, but for other people. So, yeah, I mean, it looks like about in the middle here, I'm looking at about 10 to 20 is about the average from the amount of people we have on the call. Well, cool. So that's I mean, that's pretty good news. And what I'm also seeing is that very few people are saying zero or one. There's a couple here and there, but I would imagine that those people who say zero, maybe you at least have half of a website done. Maybe you at least have some kind of a domain or some kind of a web page or something that is just about ready to go, but not quite. And so, you know, I'm glad that we're here on this call today. I'm excited about the things we're going to be talking about. And I hope that everyone on this call at least, you know, got a good night's sleep, uh, that you know at least what your four tasks are going to be today that will move you at least an inch or more closer to the goals where you want to be at. And so it's really important that we learn to get out of our own way and to um, actually, you know, 
that we're all in alignment basically and so we're not you know fighting ourselves and being our own worst enemy and putting the brakes on where we want to go and so i saw this uh this quote literally a few minutes ago and i put it into these slides at the very last second and it's that most of the problems in life are because of two reasons reason number one is that we act without thinking or we keep thinking without acting we have that really big idea that you know we know is going to pay off and we're just you know we're always perpetually two days away from making a million dollars right i'm going to make a million dollars later this week i'll do it next week i'll do it next week and if only i would put out this one website and then you wait and wait and wait and then either nothing happens or you think someone beat you to it right like oh i saw a website that was exactly my idea now there's no point and so you know the thing that that i hope that i can impart to you at least today is that even if someone already has a similar idea to yours even if something's already been done um, or even if you feel like you're even a little bit late to the party you still have hope you still have a way to make money online and so um, you know speaking about you know thinking and acting and stuff like that the way that this really uh, this, the way this really makes sense to me is that well there are there are successful people and then there are unsuccessful people and there are people who have also better handwriting but you know either there are people who are making it or people who aren't and you can look at that in terms of you know money or cash flow or a certain number of websites done or productivity um, but isn't it wouldn't you say that there are people that either are where they want to be and people who don't who aren't where they want to be and they got there as a result of two things it's either uh, either making decisions right like you have a goal you start on a new project a new path and then changing decisions and then and there have been all kinds of studies done where okay, if I control decisions um, people who are successful well they make decisions quickly and then they change their decisions slowly right so they they decide right away what they want and they don't let anyone get in their way and once they get to that goal then they can look and say well now maybe I'll go off in this other direction or I'll course correct but I'm not going to let every little thing distract me. And then, uh, likewise, unsuccessful people, they make decisions slowly. They don't know what they want. They're slow to act. And they change their decisions quickly. Right? So anything that comes in their way, um, they, they, they can never get a site finished. They can never get to their goal. And so just having a chart like this really helped me uh, early on when I kind of realized I had a problem because I know too many people who will just put a label on things labels can be kind of dangerous people will say well I have you know entrepreneur ADD and you if you think about when someone says that well they're kind of putting a label on it because it sounds like it could almost be like a real uh, like a real disease a real sickness because it's almost kind of like you know attention deficit disorder but because it's this made up thing called entrepreneur ADD well then really there, it's kind of a cop out because it's not a real thing, so therefore there's no cure, right? So you're kind of stuck in this situation where there's a place that you want to get to, but you just won't let yourself get there, and it's like, well, why not? Well, because you're your own worst enemy at that point. And so the solution to getting out of this unsuccessful mindset and to get past that is to really have a, a reason why you're doing all this stuff. And I know that you know for for Lance a big part of his reason why is family. Um, for me a big part of my reason why is just to be kind of kind of independent and be a, you know like a better person than my parents before me. Um, and I know that many of you out there you know you have a goal to travel to you know some other country or multiple exact places or a certain amount of money in the bank. Not to be greedy or not to be someone who counts their money or not to be the richest person in the graveyard, but just to have less stress and not to have to worry about well can I afford this? Um, are these bills going to bring me negative again or people you know who want to have a certain amount of cash flow coming in every month so that maybe you don't have to work a spouse doesn't have to work or certain things set up like health insurance or a certain house or a certain car or just freedom and peace of mind to do whatever you want or time to do what really matters in life hang out with your family relatives kids grandkids great can kids or just set your own hours and enjoy everything you do if you want to just put in a couple of hours a day one hour a day one hour a week you know a couple of days a week morning evening you can now set your own hours and be your own person and so um, I don't know about what your personal situation is but for the longest time I wanted to have a house and you know one of the first place I lived in um, I took a, a walk around the block and there were this was a SWAT team of police breaking into basically a crack den around the corner and I thought you know what maybe it's time to move so I moved to a different city 
And then I lived across the street from a Walmart, and then they found a dead body in the trunk of a Walmart. And I thought, you know what? Maybe time to move. Uh, and then that place had a real lousy, loud neighbor. So I thought, maybe time to move. Ended up on this house, and you know, and this I ended up getting this house because one night I was walking around, and I just like walked into this neighborhood, and I was like, this is a pretty awesome neighborhood. And then I didn't let anything stop me from that goal. If my goal had been something like, you know, I want to make 5000 bucks a month. Or I want to have $100,000 savings in the bank. That's an okay, I guess, like a secondary goal, but it's it's a losing game because you're you're getting excited about a number, not about what that number will get you. And then um, and then also, if this is my old car right here. This is a Ford Mustang, and it's all, and also because I had a really crappy car. When I drove at 80 miles an hour, it almost came apart. I wanted to have you know a cool car where people would kind of you know, like my car. Um, but then you know after a while that got old, and I recently traded in for a, a new-ish Mercedes. And so what happened here was I, I went in and um, you know this uh, this old car had passed 100,000 miles. I took the newer version on a test drive, kind of liked it. I took this thing for a test drive, and it was like one of the smoothest rides that I'd ever been on. And so you know I say that not to you know not to brag or not to kind of you know seem like a greedy person, um, but isn't it kind of cool when you decide what it is that you want? And you have the choice to either say, you know, well, here's what I want, and maybe I'll, you know, wait on this or I'll get it right now. Um, and what also happened here? Well, first of all, this first car, um, they wanted me to to finance it. So I was pretty young, and then I said, you know, what? I don't want to worry about that. Let me just pay it off in cash. Um, and when I traded this in, I didn't get that much money for it. So then I said, you know what? Just to make it easier, you know, I'll just finance this newer car. Um, but then they wanted to know things like, well, what, what's your monthly house payment? Can you bring in these pay stubs, this tax return? And I didn't want to have to go back and uh, you know go home and come back. And so I just said, you know, screw it. I'll just pay the whole thing off. So isn't it cool to be in that situation where if you want to pay something off or you want to have something cool or you want to just, you know, get to the next step or, or have something new and something nice um, and not have to worry, then that's a really great place to be uh, by, you know, being a little bit smarter than the average person uh, who just, you know, would rather finance it or have a crappier car or just get ultra leverage and have something that they can't afford. So why the heck am I talking to you about houses and cars and things like that? Well, because I want you to get excited about the possibilities for you and where what kinds of things that you can move up to and you know maybe you have a bigger house than me maybe you want to have another bigger house maybe you want to have that power to buy your child a car or put in a college fund or things like that and i want you to get over your own personal mindset blocks because there really are three losing mentalities that I've been seeing a lot over and over and you know maybe you're in one of these or maybe you're on the path to one of these and it's always good just to be aware of this so that in case you find yourself falling into the trap you don't end up on it. and so the first one is this entitlement mentality so you think well you know I shouldn't have to do anything if I want a house I should just get it. if I want a car I should just get it if I want to have X number of dollars from my business you know I should just have it I shouldn't have to work for it. Why can't I just have it paid out? Why can't the money just come? You know, I'm not even going to try because what if I try and fail? That's that sucks, right? Or people who think that, you know, I'm going to keep setting up my Squidoo lenses. I'm going to keep writing articles and things like that. And I'll just keep plugging away and someday I'll wake up and it'll just magically happen for me. I'll win the lottery basically on the internet. That doesn't really work either. Or this worker mentality that, you know, I'm going to put in 20, 30, 40, 50 hours per week on my internet business and just because I put in all these hours, once again, I deserve this amount of money. But that's not really true, is it? And if you think about it, you know, if you work as a janitor for 10 years and someone new comes in as a janitor, do you really deserve to get paid 10 times as much as that new person? Well, no. And so 
on the internet, none of these things are true. And in life, none of these things are true. Um, and, you know, I wish that early on someone had told me these things because it would have shortcut so much of the time it took me to get the house I wanted, the car I wanted, the, you know, the freedom and security that I wanted if I just kind of thought of things in a better way. And so here's the reality is that the income and successes as an entrepreneur come to you in little milestones, like the next logical step. So the next website you make is not going to be your big million dollar payday, but maybe you know the next website you make, you make this amount of money from your launch, get this new number of subscribers, get this people this number of people in your recurring membership site, and then move on from there and then find a new traffic source, find a new joint venture partner, but it's all about little milestones that take you from where you are now to where you want to be in the next 20 days or so. So everyone has good ideas, right? Don't think that you're different just because you have ideas that people don't. Everyone has ideas, but what makes you different is that most people let themselves get distracted, bored, or just taking too long, uh, or overthinking things to finish anything, or just finding some excuse to not complete it and go over off to something else because isn't it so scary to put something out there on the internet? What if no one buys it? What if you fail? Well, then you just found one way that doesn't work. So what I want you to do is think about four things that you want to have either physically like something like a house or a certain house or a house in a certain neighborhood or have completed like a website a project a video course a subscriber list of a certain size on today's date in one year just so that you're striving towards a real goal and not like the average person out there who you're you're way better than the average person but the average person well they they think that buying a five dollar product is taking action when they think that getting business cards printed up is taking action because at least now i can show these business cards off to people and fool them into thinking that i actually have a real business um so speaking of people who have real business i was on this web page the other day talking about people who um people who really changed the world like this is walt disney right here um and then this is um this is william Ridley jr the guy who invented juicy fruit but he didn't just invent this gum, what happened was um, he began making soap, right? And then as an incentive to buy the soap, he said, well, you get a free can of baking powder with the soap. But he realized that people were buying soap just to get the baking powder. So he said, I'm going to switch this and I'm going to now sell baking powder. So then he tried to figure out new ways to sell more baking powder and realized when he threw in chewing gum, people were buying the baking powder for the chewing gum. And then that led him to uh, beginning this thing called Juicy Fruit, this company called Juicy Fruit. So kind of funny how he started off in one place and ended up somewhere else. And isn't that true in your own life where, you know, you'll make a website about some certain thing, make a website about playing the clarinet or something like that, and then realize that, well, there are some people who are interested in that, but what's an even bigger, more popular, more rabid fan base are people who want to play the guitar. And then once you get into that, um, area maybe you realize that out of those guitar players there's a huge base of people who want to play you know 10 particular songs or maybe you know a certain dev I think there's some kind of device for a guitar that'll go over it that uh, makes it so you only need to like push four buttons you can play you know half of the songs on the guitar so then maybe even that's the place where you really belong but you wouldn't have realized that this was where you're supposed to end up if you hadn't had these different milestones these different hops along the way so we're talking about focus today and so let's say that you know let's say that maybe you're three hops away from finding where you really want to be right like William really junior you you have this different website and you need to make that and make some sales make some money build some kind of a subscriber base then based on what those buyers tell you you make something else and based on what those buyers tell you you end up on something that's a real big hit and I'm not saying that these are failures but these make you some money and this makes you the big money so let's say that um, you have three things coming at you three things that you're going to be finishing within the next couple of weeks and let's say that um, that this first launch takes you three weeks, right? To come up with the idea, domain name, sales letter, product, do the, the big launch sequence, get some affiliates on board. Let's say that takes you three weeks. And then once you figure that out, then product number two will take you three weeks and product number three will take you three weeks. Okay, so you have these three ideas, these three things that you need to get out of your system and make money from all three. And my question is, which makes more sense? Does it make more sense to wait until all three of these are perfected and not do anything and not even make a move until they're all done? 
which means that you have to wait nine weeks. You have to wait three weeks here, three weeks here, three weeks here. Or does it make more sense to launch this one out and make money, launch this one and make money, and then launch this one and make money in that order? Well, I don't know about you, but I'd rather get paid as soon as possible makes a lot more sense where even though I might have three ideas or 30 ideas or 300 ideas, maybe out of all of those, which one excites me the most, which one can I finish uh, you know, easily and quickly, and which one has the most potential for making money. And I hate to, to be the bearer of bad news, but creativity most of the time doesn't pay off, or I guess like un, unchanneled creativity, because if you look at what sells well most people have a web page a sales letter it's just plain white piece of paper most people sell a product membership site it's pretty much the same process but what you put in your product your system you teach the way that you go about it that's where creativity can be channeled but just not all over the place and i'll give you an example this is a list of the top grossing movies last year and when we looked at this list i'm going to cross out anything that's not quote unquote original, right? So anything that is, you know, based on a book or anything that's a sequel or anything that's a reboot or a remake. So check this out. The Avengers is, you know, it's based on comic book characters. Dark Knight Rises, sequel to Batman. Hunger Games, based on a book. Skyfall is James Bond. The Hobbit, based on a book. Twilight, based on a book. Spider-Man's a reboot. Madagascar is a sequel. Dr. Seuss. Men in Black 3, Ice Age sequel, Snow White, Hotel Transylvania is a bunch of uh, you know different characters in one movie, Taken 2 is a sequel, Les Miserables is based on a play, 21 Jump Street to reboot. So if you look at, what is this? Like 17 out of the top 22 movies last year were all proven money makers, right? And it's not to say that these were all, it was lazy filmmaking or that no one was creative, but they took something that already made sense and put their own spin on it or list added to it right there. So creativity doesn't always pay off, but what does pay off is looking at what people want and then giving it to them and doing it quickly so that you don't have to spend your whole life, you don't have to spend five years um, figuring out an opt-in page, figuring out a sales letter. So what we're talking about is this thing called an automatic selling machine, which sounds kind of cool and neat, but all it means is that you have a website on the internet that takes orders automatically, that delivers something in exchange for that money automatically. So if I want to buy something from you, well, my question is, where can I pay you money? And you know what? If you can go into the question box right now and type in an actual URL right now where I can buy something from you and pay you money. I'm not saying that I'm going to go over there right now and buy it, but can you go in the question box and just type in a website of yours, the URL, the web address right now, where there is a button where I can buy something from you at this very second. Okay, so, and, and I'm seeing a few of those questions, or a few of those things coming in, but even early on when I asked to list your websites, then there were some, there were a few hesitant answers of people saying things like, well, when you say number of websites, do you mean ones that are functioning or, you know, ones that are actually making money or ones that are complete? And so, you know, where can I pay you money? If you don't know it instantly, then you need to have a better website. If I ask you, where can I get on your list? Well, then you need to have an answer for that. But I don't want to hear the answers like, well, go to my blog. You know, you can buy something from my blog. You can opt in from my blog. Or don't say, I'm still working on it because it really literally only takes you three minutes to add a subscription form to your website. Maybe a little bit longer if you're brand new, but if you're brand new, maybe spend a day, watch a couple of videos, figure out how to copy and paste that uh, piece of code from Aweber or from PayPal on your website. So that way there's something, even if it's a crappy $10 report, at least there is something that I can buy from you. And then you can go and grow that into a $20 report, $30 video sequence, $50, $100 membership site. Um, but you have to start somewhere and it's actually okay if your first couple of websites suck because you started somewhere because I mean I think pretty much everyone I know online who's successful including me including Lance including a lot of things I see on this call your first websites really sucked but you had to make those sucky websites to get to the point where you had good websites so if I just want to go somewhere and give you money luckily I'm seeing a lot of uh, people 
you know, type in their, you know, some of them are uh, things like selling resale rights or like a workout plan or like an offline business. So we have a lot of people on this call who already have at least one kind of website. But is one website going to make you a lot of money? Well, I don't know. If you get lucky, maybe, but I'd rather create a few small websites and then grow them and then see which one pays off the most and then keep on growing that and keep on getting traffic and keep on adding content and fix up the sales that are and just figure out well what little thing needs to get changed what is that next logical step so you know you need a site or you know that your site could be better or that maybe you're gonna get to create another site at some point so why is that the one thing holding you up you know, if you you know you want money, you have an idea, you know you can reach people, but why is just getting the website just holding you up? Well, chances are you're in one of two stages, and the one stage is a setup stage where it's you know we want to get to that or just want to get some kind of website online. Like someone like Jim in the question says that his site looks good, but he needs more sites that don't take as long to build. Bonnie just wrote in that she took a year making her website perfect, gave too much away, have membership, too much to maintain, need to start over, tired of it, totally wrong focus. So it does suck to spend a whole year on one website and almost grow to resent it and wonder, you know, when is this ever going to pay off? And then once it's finally done, you think, oh, but if I want to make website number two, I got another whole year of my life. This is almost like torture. Um, but if you just think about, okay, well, what's the most basic thing to get online? If I want to have a membership site, maybe for now just some videos. If I want to have a sales letter, maybe just a short, not even one page sales letter. And that's something that can be improved on later. And that's where you then grow your business. Right? So you first get your website online and then figure out, well, let me tweak a few things to make the sales letter make more sense. Let me do a few things to get a few more eyeballs, get some paid traffic, uh, put out you know Kindle books or articles now that I actually have a website to send them back to. So it's not just one website, but why would you want to take forever on it? And uh, and for many people, the answer is that you know you're unfamiliar or too many choices or making it too complicated. Because if we set up a website in a few minutes, well, it can't be very good, right? If I haven't you know agonized and sweat over it for and stayed up all night, well, then it I can't can't be very good. Well, well, why not? If you use the right tools, then you know you you can drive a car for for five hours and drive hundreds of miles. And in the past, you would have had to walk for for months and weeks to get to that point. So if you use the right tool for the right job, it doesn't really matter how long it takes you or how much work it took you as long as you got there. So what's stopping you from setting up a website are things like, you know, technology or what system or what layout or some someone wrote in and he's lazy. But here's the thing, if you had the right tool, then you could be quote unquote lazy and only put a few minutes into it and just push the button and it does it for you, right? You don't have to these days make a website from scratch you have tools like this tool called WordPress and if you're new to use that and new to use a certain for example sales letter theme or sales letter plugin then you wouldn't have to worry about coding anything or designing the thing from scratch and spending three months learning HTML or waiting a month for a designer or spending all this money on someone to make you a site you just knew what existing tool to use but then there's another little tiny obstacle and then a tiny little hop where you set up a website but now what words do I put on that website I have a site that looks great but it's blank and then there's a scary world called copywriting which is what to actually say what to actually put on an off the page on a sales header and then you do that and then you're thinking well okay maybe I have a website I know what it will look like I know what I'm gonna say but now what actually is on there when I want to build a list what free gift do I put on there when I want to sell something you know what kind of product can I make is a report good well how long does the report have to be is a video good well how long does the video have to be and then you go out and you look for the different the advice right the advice that's given out on Facebook groups on forums and articles and blogs um, you know like what do I do and I've when I was new I looked at all the advice because I there were a million choices in front of me I didn't know which path to take so I found someone 
And it said something like, well, find this old book from the 1890s called Scientific Advertising and just read that seven times. And don't take notes, but read it over and over and over and over until all these ads just get in your head. And I tried that, but I, could, I couldn't even get 10 pages in because it was in all this old timey language. It was like, you know, trying to read the Federalist Papers seven times. It was just no fun at all. Trying to read the Magna Carta with all their little Latin phrases, no fun at all. And then you hear things like, will find an old ad or finds a, a web page or find a really good sales that are like from our good friend Ray Edwards is on the call and you know find a, a web page that's made you know a million dollars in sales something that you know encourages people to buy and rewrite the whole entire sales that are by hand and I mean sounds like good advice right because that way you can t take very close attention on what words they use and what phrases and why they'd say this and that and once again their words would get in your head but I don't know about you but writing a whole 10 30 page long sales letter by hand sounds like a lot of work and I'm gonna I'm gonna be bored and it's gonna cramp up my hands so that doesn't sound like fun either I also hear about things like well if you want to have a really good headline or a really good start to your opt-in page or sales letter write down just 300 headlines you know just think about uh, you know what someone would, would want to hear and write it down and write down some more and write down something else and out of these 300 headlines once you've spent three weeks on it then you'll be able to cross all of them out but one and have one good one and once again sounds like a good idea I'm sure some people do it people who love to write and love to you know wear out pens and write stacks and stacks of paper down but that does not sound like fun to me I want this to be done in a few minutes so then you hear okay um, have really good pieces to assemble you know how different bullet points to draw off of how different headlines have this thing called a swipe file and you hear about what you should do is go to your grocery store and buy the latest Cosmo magazine and tell the checker person that you're buying it for your wife or your girlfriend so that you don't lose your man card your man points and go and look at Cosmo magazine like for example if I go to Google image search if this is gonna come up and if I search Cosmo magazine covers you can find the different covers from Cosmo magazine and for some reason my Chrome with my internet or something, Cosmo magazine covers, right? And if you've seen these covers, they say things like 50 sex tips, look leaner naked. So the idea is that when you write all these down, and then when you go to, you know, come up with your your sales that are about how to play the guitar, and you say, oh cool, two things that mess with your guitar playing. You know, things like that. So that sounds like a good idea except for you have to do lots and lots and lots of studying and no real results and I just want to show you my note cards that I just took a picture of today blank empty nothing on them well why because I don't want to have to go out and do all this learning and all this academic research I just want to make some money I just want to make a website today right now and not have to basically study for a new profession right so I don't want to have to build this really huge and big swipe file so what's the answer well I personally think that the best swipe file is what gets you to buy because you've bought something this week probably right and I'm not just talking about things like you know groceries but I mean things on for example Amazon buy books on Amazon electronics items on Amazon things off of the commercial uh, ebooks off the internet and if you just looked at what was the one thing that got me to buy not their slick wording but the way that they positioned that one report why is that 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 got me to buy because you're already exposed to an estimated 5,000 ads per day from the internet from webinars I guess from the radio from uh, you know billboards from being in your car so you're already seeing all these ads per day so instead of going out there and finding all these ads just let the ads come to you so if you personally come across something that makes you pay attention, listen, buy, or even just stay on a web page for five more seconds, and you are your own prospect, so if you sell guitar training and you yourself are interested in guitar and something gets you to buy one of your competitors' guitar 
videos, products, membership sites, well then that would be the headline to save. Or that one bullet point would be the thing to save and not 300. And that's cool because there's no memorizing, there's no index cards, no reading books seven times. You just put something out there that's good enough to make money. And it might not be the slickest, slimiest headline or saying or phrase out there, but it actually says what it is that you mean. And I have a tool that I'm going to show you today called the paper template, which blows away all the things that normally hold you up. So first of all, to get a web page online, you use WordPress to point and click it together. It doesn't override your current site, so you can use this on a brand new site or on an existing blog and just have an extra landing page cell that are often page off to of the side. And it has a built-in copywriting machine, which means that I have lots of headlines for you to pick and choose from, bullet points, templates, and brand new, a swipe file where if you've heard of any of this advice on how to create good copy or how to create landing pages and you see something out there where you want to add, uh, you want to have this one headline for safekeeping. You really liked it. You're not really sure where it's going to work in there, but you want to have it for safekeeping. Well, this plugin called the paper template will actually allow you to build your very own swipe file. And I'll show you what I mean by that right now. Let's close down the pretty girl on the Cosmo magazine cover and let's go to a blog I've set up called Membership Newbie. I'm going to go and log in. And what we have here is a plugin. Let me just go to plugins. We have a plugin called the paper template. And so what this plugin does is I can go to one of my pages on this blog. And this is just, you know, a, a normal page on a WordPress blog where people can leave comments, nothing to see here. But we can edit this page. Let me just click on edit page. And all I'm doing here is I can say, well, this will be a page that's displayed using the paper template. And then when I update that page and view it, well now the page has been transformed into a landing page. And this is a landing page that you've probably seen many, many times, maybe even today, uh, forever. And if, even going back on the internet five years, 10 years, 15 years, this has never changed. This is one of the few things on the internet that has not changed is this white background, white piece of paper. And if you think about the most popular sites like Amazon, eBay, Craigslist, even Facebook and YouTube to some extent, there's very, very little design, right? It's, there's lots of white, lots of clean stuff, lots of emptiness, and there's lots of room for the actual content. So when someone lands on the page, it still looks professional, but they pay attention to the words, not any kind of distracting design. And so when you're, you know, creating a web page like this, you can just easily uh, type in exactly what you want to say in here. But what we said what was really cool is when we go to uh, to our paper template settings, if I find some headlines along the way that I want to use later on, like I can't remember, can someone tell me what that, um, what that one headline was, like the two, what was it? We said, two things that mess with your birth control. So I might write that, two things that mess with your birth control. And I might even, um, you know, maybe that's, maybe I got, that got me to buy that magazine, but if I do like guitar training ebook, and let's say that just over the course of my day, I ended up going to some site, I haven't even seen this particular site before, um, but I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, well that didn't really get me interested, but if for some reason I saw that, um, that, let's see, going around, I think I saw something worse, here we go. So I really liked that this person talked about, well, they bought a book for guitar players only, and maybe I want to use something like that, um, that kind of same argument where this isn't, if you're not a guitar player yet, this is for you. You don't have to already know guitar. So I didn't like for guitar players only. So you can put whatever you want in here, just one thing per line, so that when you use it later on in your sales copy, you can just have this. Whoops, I did. Sorry about that. Let me, for guitar players only, all right. So we have these things right here, and what we can do is when we edit this landing page later on, 
I can go to my headlines and there are already all these headlines that I've written for you but then the headlines that you save you can just say okay let me just do plop that headline in right there and I want to make this a what we call a heading one right here update this and when we view the page what I did even though I went kind of fast was I saw a headline around the internet or that I just stumbled across through the course of my day and I added that to my swipe file and so I could just go and grab and if I had you know a hundred of these or 20 of these I could edit and delete as I went along but when I go to create my page I can just drop it in and I could say with your guitar playing and even though that's not the most slickest headline in the world that's something that I could go back and change later but at least I had a starting point that I could improve on right we were in the setup phase and then we go over to the tweaking phase later on so uh, this plugin called paper template allows you to do all that and more. You could create landing pages, drop in any of the headlines or bullet points that I've created for you, uh, do your swipe file. It has built-in legal pages. You can put in testimonials, guarantees, order forms, buttons. So for example, if we didn't know anything at all about writing a sales letter, you can just go to the pre-written area here and say, well, I want a sales letter. And it'll say, warning, this will blow away everything. But if you look at what it gives us and we view the page, well, it gives us a headline that you can just go in and fill in the blanks, uh, a subheadline you can fill in the blanks. And at, at first, it might be a little cookie cutter, but then if you just look at it again and just change a couple of words, now it's 100% unique. You scroll down and I tell you different things like tell me why this is important, explain this and this, reveal your solution to me, introduce your product, here are all the different modules. So all you have to do is just change what I've given you and these different things are all in the right order and now you can just create a sales editor by clicking around and by changing what's already on there. So all the things that used to hold you up, that dreaded staring at the blank piece of paper, even if though it's a, it's not a physical piece of paper, it's a web page piece of paper, well now that's history because now you can just drop in pretty much anything you want. So you can, uh, you know, drop in if you want to make an opt-in page, boom, bullet points, place to put in your opt-in form. If you want to create a download page for if someone uh, paid you money and then after they went through a checkout process like PayPal, well then now you can have that kind of a web page. So let me just show you what that looks like. I'll view the page again. And there we go. Thanks for your purchase. If you had an opt-in form, if you had an upsell, you just drop it in. You just change what it is that I've already shown you. You can do some pretty advanced stuff. For example, to create a funnel, well, let's think about this. If someone has ever told you uh, to build a list, have a relationship building sequence until they buy, well, then what does that mean? Well, it means to create what's called a free gift, so it's a short PDF report. And that sounds scary, but if you think about, okay, let's take three articles that either we've written or we have permission to give away, save them in a PDF document, well, now we have a free gift. Then what you do is you put it on what's called a gift page that says, well, here's where you can download your PDF. And then before that, you have what's called an opt-in page that says, well, here's the gift I want you to have. And then after they and what until so the whole process that they go through here is it looks like a lot, but it's very simple. They go to what's called an opt-in page, right? And it says, well, here's where you can claim your free report on the three uh, three easy ways to get started with guitar, right? They fill that in. They get sent to what's called a gift page that says, thanks for entering your name and email address. So now they're subscribed to your newsletter, right? But then you say, okay, well now right click and save this PDF document and there you go. So you have, so your, the person who's visited your site has given you their name and email address and they've also got something of value in return. And this is one of those things where you can try to be different, but you won't have the same results as this proven model. You can be as creative as you want as far as the bribe and the copy and all that good stuff, but that's all there is to it. Opt-in page, they sign up, they go to the gift page, they get your PDF. And then after they claim the gift, well then your gift page can then link to your sales letter where you ask them to buy. And so maybe you've heard of you know this process, or maybe you've heard of it 
way more overcomplicated than it has to be, but this is how you build a business. This is how you have leads coming in consistently, and then you send traffic, and now you can have consistent sales or consistent income, and then just kind of tweak it from there to figure out how to turn, for example, a thousand bucks a month into five thousand bucks a month into ten thousand bucks, and on and on and on. So, how would we add an opt-in page to uh, a new blog or an existing blog? Well, with paper template, it's very easy. First, we have to create what we call the bribe, right? Like a, a PDF offer, and then create a download page. So, in one click, we can say thanks for signing up, and then we can create an opt-in page and just paste in our form from our autoresponder. So, here's what I mean, and uh, I'm not sure if any of you use a tool called Google. Right, Google Search, Google Mail, Google Drive. Well, what's really cool about Google Drive is that you can create your free gifts, your bribes, your PDF documents without having any software. You can do it right from the web. Most people don't know about this. I can go create document and then I can just start typing here. I can say, well, this is the um the the master guitar manual. Right, and we said this was what three steps to go from nothing to a master guitar player, and then yeah, I can just start you know writing stuff, and then up here I might say, well, I want to make this a title, I want to make this my subtitle, uh, I can you know center this, I can put in my different chapters here, I can put in my different bullet points. You say, okay, well that's kind of cool. It's like Microsoft Word, but online. Well, who cares? So what? Well. We can say file, download as PDF. Pretty cool, right? We're just in our Google or Gmail. We click on Drive here. Once we're in Drive, we can go create a new document. Once we've created this new document, we just say file, download as PDF document. And it takes a second, but now check it out. Untitled document, you save it as whatever you want. And I open this up. And now we have uh, this little manual you've written. That's in a convenience a little thing where people can't, you know, make changes to it, uh, and you can just distribute this around. So pretty cool. And I mean, even if you don't have content, well, you can go to either your own blog and pick out your top three blog posts, or even this site called Easy Articles, where they will allow you to take up to 25 articles as long as you keep the author's link and the author's name intact. So you can potentially go well get search for guitar whichever one looks good or if you figure out well if I could arrange three of these in a logical sequence I would just open up three guitars make sure to highlight including the person's name and including their uh, links on the bottom right click and copy go into Google Drive right click and paste do that just three times and in just you know three minutes now you've created your very own ethical bribe your very own PDF manual without even any software without any PDF converters uh, if you want to put a link into something like links to your different parts of your website I think you can go insert link and then just have it go to you know whatever site that you want and now you have a clickable link right there once again file download as PDF so even if you're on the road even if you're not at home you can still create these ethical bribes so pretty cool uh, that takes care of our bribe and then you create a download page. What's really cool about WordPress is you don't have to upload or FTP or anything like that. So here's what I mean. Well, we can go if I can find the right page. So we had our new page, right? And we were going to uh, actually let me just make a new page just to make it simple. So we're going to say in WordPress new page, and then I'll say um, I'll call this you know free report download, and then I'll go to my pre-written a uh, little area here and say here's my gift page so thanks for claiming your free copy and what do we call it again master guitar manual the master guitar manual and then we can say alright download links so what we do here is we can say add media on the top and then uh, upload files so select files and I think this saved in somewhere untitled document one and you know I, I probably should rename it but right now I won't uh, insert into page and boom in just a couple of clicks there I said add media upload uploaded a PDF document uh, to this I need to make sure to say that this is uh, display this page using the paper template and uh, let's just publish it and see what it looks like 
So then I can go to view page here and check it out. Thanks for claiming your free copy of the Master Guitar Manual. Right click and download files. If I click on this, it'll open up our PDF document right then and there. Um, and then if we, you know, if you want to remove this or, or add a link here, we can always do that. Uh, but just in a couple of clicks, we created a download page for a free gift. And then what we can do to build a list is go back to our uh, WordPress dashboard. And we can say once again, pages add new. And we can say claim your free report here. Go to the pre-written documents. And I can say this is an opt-in page. And then I want to uh, have the, the URL here be slash free. So membershipnewbie.com slash free. And I can say uncover the three secrets to uh, mastering the guitar in just a few minutes. And then I can, you know, change this bullet point and to just be it may, even the title of each article of each section, even the title of, of section two, even the title of section three, put this in here and publish and review the page just by clicking around a few clicks. Whoops, I have to make this a paper template page, but just by saying pre-written opt-in page, changing the headline, changing the text around, I can say make this a paper template page, and then when we view the page again, well then here we go. Uncover this, bullet points, bullet points, and then even if I wanted to be fancy and put in an opt-in form, I don't know if you've heard of the service called Aweber, but this is a place where you can collect leads, where you can build a list, right? Where you can have a web sign-up form for your newsletter. And so I can just go to this site, and I've already set up a form, but I can just copy and paste this one little section of code and I can say, well, I want to put it on this web page. So edit the page. And right here in the paper template area, my call to action, I'm just going to paste in my form code from my autoresponder. I'll update this and then view the page and then check it out. And I can always, you know, make the form look different. But just once again, in a few clicks, I can make this, uh, this form here where someone can sign up and claim their free report. And then after they go ahead and sign up there, then it takes them to the free report download page where they then get their PDF document. And then it can link down here on the bottom to my sales letter. So I can just say, uh, you know, on the bottom here, I want to, you know, how about this? How about I'll just say, let's keep it simple and let's just say, take the next step, right? And I'll put the button right here and I'll make the button say, uh, you know, uh, next, uh, you know, join our membership. And then in the call to action, I'll say that my membership site is at membershipnewbie.com. So I'm just changing this form around so that now once someone signs up, or I should take out the step three, but they sign up, they get my PDF document. And once they're done right here, they can click on the button and end up on whatever website I want, like a sales letter. So it's pretty cool how you can just create, um, you know, just by having your bribe, download a page, opt-in page, you can make this whole funnel and then even go one step further and create a whole business in just a few minutes. So for example, you can go over to different resale rights sites and buy reports, buy videos that have been already made for you, but you just spend five bucks, 20 bucks buying the rights and you set up these writes on your own web pages. Every time I've polled my subscribers, polled many of you, um, what we've discovered is that over 95% of you have at least something on your hard drive, something where you've bought rights or obtained the rights of some form that's just right now collecting digital dust on your hard drive, where all you have to do is set it up and you no longer have to even open up anything. To make a report, you don't even have to open up Microsoft Word to put a video or a download link online. You don't have to know FTP or HTML. You just use WordPress. You just use the paper template. If you want to add a video to the web page, you use a video player plugin. Um, but now that's all done. You just click on this, buy resale rights, uh, grab the download file, put the download page on there, and then it's done. And because it's WordPress, you can make changes just as you go the way that you see it. You can upload a logo, put in a headline, put in a subheadline, and that way 
you're just keeping it simple because I see people who try to improve their conversions and they always do it the wrong way. I mean, I don't know if you've seen any of these web pages that say, well, we here at Beltman Industries or we here at, you know, Internet Marketing Central and they, they try to hide behind this company name because they think that because they use a, a big giant sounding company name instead of their own name that people will, I don't know, will buy more, but people just aren't buying it. Or you have bloggers who think that they can have a really complicated design and all kinds of things to click on and that magically someone who comes to that web page will somehow figure out how to buy. Or even worse, what I call high octane copywriters who they'll just spend too much time thinking about a web page or a headline and they'll end up with this big headline like this one escaped insane asylum inmate unlocks the five million dollar cash gushing honey hole tidal wave tsunami kept hidden since 1947 that spews out hot prospects and leads every 31 seconds you see that and you think well that sounds cool I got a bunch of images in my head but what does that even mean why don't you just say what it is that you mean and sure you can make it exciting but just say what it is that you mean or people who are thinking about the funnel or they overthink the funnel they want to be a list builder and I'm sure you've seen this where you say okay well first to, to view this page can you tweet this and then opt in here and then buy the seven dollar product and then once you buy that well then I'm gonna say but wait there's a $27 upsell, but wait, if you don't buy that, there's a $17 downsell, but wait, buy this thing for $7. And I mean, I've had arguments with people who, I mean, they will defend this to their death. They'll say, all you got to do is put up a $7, $27, $17. And I'm thinking, but what product are they buying? And they say, it doesn't matter. As long as the price is right, they'll buy whatever. And I'm thinking, well, since when have you bought something just based on the price? You bought things maybe because you got a good deal or a lower price, but if you bought something for seven dollars not knowing what it was, then you were just basically gambling. And um, and I've even tried this. I'm I'm sorry to say, here's Lance from years ago when I first met him. Um, we tried this. We tried having this big funnel where you had to tweet something, opt in, upsell, downsell, 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 and we found we made more money and that our customers had a better experience, they'd buy from us faster if we just decided what we wanted to sell them and said, here it is, that's it. $97, not selling it to you in pieces, here it is. And so there's all these different choices, but what makes a lot more sense to me is for a starting point, I'm not saying this is gonna be like the final draft or whatever, but for a starting point, what if, just what if you had a web page that began with the dreaded who else wants to get this, this, and this? Who else wants to learn guitar in five minutes, amass the top ten songs, and impress your friends, family, and women? Right? That wouldn't be the best headline, but it would get your point across. And I would say put it out there and see how it sells because, I mean, more often than not, when Lance and I put out a headline starting with who else, as cheesy as it seems, it makes us more money. So if you can start off with something, instead of worrying about using phrases like cash gushing honey hole, if you can just say something that's shocking, that's new, that people don't normally hear, that makes a little bit of a claim or a promise, asks a question, and lists those that question in three parts as possible to, to you know hit them three different ways, then that itself would be a much more powerful headline. If you had a web page and all you did on that web page was answered four simple questions. All right, you, you don't have to learn copywriting for 20 years. You don't have to rewrite index cards or whole books or read any books seven or 17 or 700 times. If you just answered these four questions, then you would have a pretty darn good sales letter. And it's these four things. First of all, what you're presenting to me, you're presenting to me this guitar playing video course. Well, why is it important? Why should I even care about what this is exactly? You know, what's the pain point? You know, have I, maybe you can relate to me in that, you know, I've tried learning guitar on my own or from other courses that weren't good or from a book or from an instructor. And the solution is this guitar copywriting course. And it has this, 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 and this. When you go through it, you'll get this, 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 and this. And 
well, that's good. I'm sold on that. But now what is it exactly now that you've hooked me? Well, it's these four modules. Module one is this. Module two is this. Module three is this. It's delivered in these kinds of videos. It has these bonus reports. It's this whole complete home study course package. And now that you're ready to get it, well, what if I get it? Well, let me just drive to the point home. Let me t bring it back full circle to the emotional part of it. What you'll have when you're done. Let me stack up and total up and, and inflate all the cool stuff you're getting and drop it down to this ultra low price. And it seems almost too simple, right? This seems almost too cookie cutter, but it's not because you can channel the creativity you have into these pieces. You can sell whatever product you want. You can make whatever points you want. You can have whatever unique angle that you want, but you present it in a way that humans are psychologically wired to to get hooked and understand it. And this pretty much ensures that you start off, hit the ground running, and build and build and build up to this climax, and then drop off, and they'll want more. And just by doing it in this order and hitting on these points, this is a great place for you to start. And then when you want to go back and tweak and rethink this headline, this bullet point, this section of copy, should I rearrange this and that, get a copy critique, do whatever. But at least you had a starting point and you did it because you keep things simple, you had a system, and you used the right tools such as the paper template, which we said allows you to have point and click headlines, drop in bullet points, make a site without FTP, without HTML. So when we want to go and edit a web page like this, we can just edit our web page, claim our free report. And if I decide that I don't like this headline, no problem at all. I can just go here and choose if I don't like any of my swipe file headlines, I can say drop that in and say what I wanted to say. If I wanted to write some bullet points, no problem at all. I can just go in here and select, I want that bullet point, I want that bullet point, I want that bullet point, and then I've figured it out. If I want to add in a guarantee certificate, no problem at all. I can just go here and say guarantee certificate, boom, it drops it here in here right just like that. And any kind of uh, piece of copywriting or any kind of piece of landing page component, I can just drop it right in there. So with the paper template, if you want to just create one landing page, like an opt-in page that then goes to your blog, you can do it for just one page. If you want to add a page to your blog where you have a blog, but then you send them over to a sales letter, and then maybe that sends them over to a download page, then you can just apply the paper template to just that one page. I don't know if you noticed, but when I go down below to this paper template area, I can say, is this going to be a piece of paper or is this going to be just any old normal page in my blog or any other things like for example if I want to have a video on a web page and have lots of room for it I can even have that kind of a uh, template as well so let me just show you that I can update that particular page and view it right here and you see how it still has our fonts and our colors and things like that but it's a very wide web page so if I have a, a widescreen video and I can just have a video that's like way out here then I can have room for it where I wouldn't normally have room for that on a blog web page it has built-in legal pages so it has uh, these different things on the bottom that will help you whoops if I can get my mouse cursor back uh, it will make you look more legitimate to Google and it'll increase your rankings and look make you look more legitimate to people who are considering buying from you um, we have whoops we have uh, the ability for you to make as many sales letters as you want so let's say you wanted to have 30 opt-in pages we'll just go ahead and hit pages add new 30 times or just paste in your uh, your opt-in page a few times and now you can tweak and test different headlines uh, write different sales letters to different markets so you might want to have one sales letter to the advanced guitar people the beginning guitar people or anyone in between just like that you can edit it from anywhere from your browse you don't have to install any software because this is a WordPress plugin you can log into your site anywhere you're at from your phone from your laptop from your computer on the road at home and change what you want because of WordPress you can add extra users so you can grant an outsourcer partial access most people don't know this but in WordPress you can give someone I think they're called a contributor access where you can have your web page and they can make changes but those changes are pending and so then you as the big boss CEO can go in and say okay either I want to reject their changes or make my own changes or just accept them as they are but you can have someone 
like a copywriter or someone like that go in and make changes and then only when you decide you want to keep them you can click the button and you can go ahead and do that you can uh, switch your navigation around so for example you can have all these different uh, pages on your WordPress site and you can say well you know I want to have the opt-in page be the first thing they see when they show up but then after a while maybe you run a webinar and you want to have a registration link to a webinar be the first thing they send up. Maybe you want to then record your webinar and have a video be the first thing they see and then after a while you want to say you know what when someone comes to mysite.com I want them to see the sales letter very first thing and so you can just click a button and it's done no more renaming editing uploading downloading side downloading any of that it's just point and click because it's WordPress lots of people use it lots of people um, you know have a lot of fun with this and have in fact abandoned their old outdated clunky uh, ways that took them weeks or months to set up a sales editor and just used WordPress plus the paper template to click around and get it done. This is called Paper Template 2.0. It installs as either a WordPress plugin or a web page if you really, really want to. It creates opt in pages, sales pages, webinar registration pages, download pages, video replay pages, and you can create as many as you want of these on the same blog and even coexist with a normal blog theme. This does not change the existing blog theme that you're using. You can just have these extra pages off of the side and even make all your pages this way if that's the kind of site that you want to have. You saw that we can click around and spit out pre-written sales letters and opt-in pages. There is a huge data bank of headlines, plus you can add in your own swipe file from different things that maybe got you to buy or different ideas that you had. And sometimes, you know what, we kind of have to write down or put that one headline or bullet point in our swipe file and just kind of forget about it and let our subconscious percolate on it and figure out exactly how we're going to use that statement or how to use what that statement was trying to do in our own marketing or after a while in a week say you know what that sucks I'm gonna delete that line of my swipe file but sometimes things just kinda of have to come to us over time and that's why Lance and I want you to use this to set up a basic workable functioning sales letter opt-in page and funnel so someone can sign up over email, get into a sequence, so someone can pay you money and buy something, and then you can go back over and figure out what you want to change from that point. And so there's all kinds of little things that I didn't really have time uh, to get into with this different web page, like it's mobile responsive, um, you have uh, all these different things like if you want to just create this whole funnel from the opt-in page to the gift page to the sales page to the download page and not even worry about a membership site yet you can do all those things and more it includes legal forms you can install it on as many sites as you own and it comes with 365 days of updates and support all this and more for just 997 but you know it's not going to be 997. It's going to be 497 to have point and click copywriting to not have a copyright if you don't want one. You just click around, make your own, fill in the blanks, and it's done. There are 60 proven headlines and 70 proven bullet points that you can just drop in. Where I've looked at hundreds and thousands of bullet points so that you don't have to have a swipe up file unless you want one but I've condensed these all down to just a handful of things where you can just say I want this I want this I want this and now my web page is done so you can start with a page written for you like a sales letter opt-in form download page and not have to start from scratch because how much would a copywriter cost how much would it then cost to make changes or pay them royalties or you know go and find a new copywriter if you didn't like the results of copywriter number one so it's just 397 to have not just one business in a box, but several instant businesses in a box. So if the next time you see some kind of rights for sale, okay, like let's say that you're in the guitar niche and you see someone selling a guitar course and they're giving away rights, well now you don't have to let it sit on your hard drive. You just go and buy it, you download it while it's downloading, go over the paper template, add in your download page, opt-in page, sales letter, just click and click and click click on the button to upload and in just a few minutes you have now created a very own income stream you just have to tell your list about it and send traffic to it but the hard part has been taken out for you some of our customers have told us that they're setting up at least 
10 new websites per day, getting all that extra SEO link juice from Google, from Bing, from Facebook, and setting it all up, and just maybe even accessing and improving their sales letter from anywhere in the world. So it's just 297 to have a professionally written sales letter, a high converting opt-in form, pre-made legal forms and pages, video replay pages, download pages, webinar sign-up pages, so for just 197 you can use this on as many sites as you personally own. You can use it with your existing blog. Just click on the button to make it act as a paper template page. You can use it for just the point and click headlines. You can use it for just your own swipe file on an unlimited number of sales letters or often pages on the same blog. So my question to you is how many sites do you want to use it on? So in the beginning People said about 10 or 20 sites is what's uh, making the money right now. So if you want to be able to make have 50 money making sites this year or 100 money making sites this month or just the one, you just want to get one happening this coming week, well then you can get the paper template right now for just $147 for unlimited sites. So it's not a typo and the price really is that low for now. So what's it worth to you? to get your site to be finally online today or to create a new site to bring back an old site to life or just to buy resale rights for an instant income stream. But I have a very special surprise for you right now today and that it's not even $127. It's not $97, $77, $67, 57 to have the built-in copywriter, order form, swipe file, legal pages and templates. It's just $47 so this is a ridiculous pricing. Get it now at www.papertemplates.com. All right, so paper template is just $47 to use it on as many sites as you personally own. Just go right now to www.papertemplate.com. In fact, I'll go there with you. So let's just do it together and we close down some tabs first. So we're going to click on the browser button if we don't already have it open. Didn't we say to close Facebook? Well, I caught you, didn't I? Just kidding. So we're going to go to P-A-P-E-R-T-E-M-P-L-A-T-E.com. PaperTemplates.com. You go there right now. The web page will load. This page is, in fact, powered by the paper template. So it's the same white piece of paper you know and love we have uh, a video player plugin on here. We have different WordPress plugins on here for SEO, for caching. If you want to use this for, uh, you know, install a video player plugin, things like that, um, just point and click around and you can have it. So at the bottom here is the paper template order form, and the ultimate version is $47 to use on unlimited sites that you own to have all the stuff that we showed you today. That's at papertemplate.com. So try us out for 60 days, for two whole months, and get your money back if you don't like it, and use this with any other WordPress plugin that you want. It coexists peacefully with any other WordPress plugin or theme. So just imagine if you want to trick out your WordPress site with some SEO or some pinging plugin or some social media plugin, a pop-up plugin, an e-commerce or a split testing plugin, you can use all those things with the paper template right now today but there is a catch and that's that you have to go get it and install it on your WordPress blog right now today so stop whatever else you're doing and go right now to www.papertemplate.com to secure your spot right now I'll even uh, type it in the chat box and you should see it in the um, question box as well so secure your spot right now click the pay button and send $47 to double agent marketing LLC and then log into the site and grab your plugin in the next few minutes and you can install it on as many sites as you personally own. So go right now to papertemplate.com and once you have it installed, go ahead and shoot me an email and let me know where you're using it with the exact URL and how many extra opt-ins and sales that you're making as a result of using the Paper Template 2.0. So my name is Robert Plank. I'm going to end this webinar in about 30 seconds. Let me bring up the little uh, countdown timer. But I want to make sure that you have this URL right loaded up in your browser so you don't lose it so you can get it right now today before any of life's other distractions interrupt you and stop you 
from getting to your dreams and fulfilling the life that you've always wanted. So go right now to papertemplate.com, install it, make your opt-in pages and sales letters. My name is Robert Plank from papertemplate.com. Everyone, have a great and fantastic day. Thank <laughs> you.